There are several options for accessing and organizing your current and future recordings. A helpful tool for organizing your recordings is the Folders option. Whenever you choose to record a program, you have the option to place the recording in a specific folder. Press the Record button and arrow down to Folder. Use the left-right arrow buttons to scroll through available folders or to create a new one. Let's create one for Ben's favorite recordings. Select the New Folder option and then choose Create One-Time Recording. A screen prompts you to name the folder. Use the arrow and OK buttons to choose the letters, then press Submit. Once the recording is complete, it will be placed in Ben's folder and can be accessed using the List button. With your service, it is simple to access all of your recorded programs from a single button on the remote control, the List button. Press the List button once on the remote control to access the list of current recordings. The list of current recordings can also be accessed in the main menu. Press the Menu button on the remote control. Under Recordings, arrow to the right to select Current and press OK. Press the List button two times to see a list of programs that are set to be recorded. This Future Recordings list contains all programming events waiting to happen. Press the List button three times to access your series recording rules. These are the program series that you have set to record on a regular basis, and you may access them from here to make adjustments to your series recording rules. Press the List button four times to access your recently deleted recordings. These recordings are ones that have been recently deleted, and you will have the opportunity to restore these recordings. Press the List button once. By default, the most recent recording shows at the top of the list. As you arrow through the list and pause at a program, you see a brief description of the program, the channel it aired on, the date, time, duration, and rating of the recording. You will notice that there are four options available at the bottom of the screen. Delete, Red button, Actions, Green button, Search, Yellow button, and Sort, Blue button. Press the corresponding buttons on the remote to perform the listed function. Pressing the red button, for example, allows you to delete a program from your recordings. If you press the green button for Actions, you are presented with a number of options. The Actions list displays on the right-hand side of the screen. To make it easy for you, the list of actions on the screen shows the corresponding button that you could press on the remote control. It is also possible to highlight your selection and then press OK. To show or hide program information, press Info. To go back to the previous screen, press List. If you'd like to move the recording to a different folder, choose Move to Folder. If you would like to set protections on a recording so that it does not automatically get deleted, choose Protect. When you do, a shield symbol will display next to the program name. If you want to remove protection from the recording, simply choose Protect again. To leave the Actions list, just press the green button again. To search for future airings of selected programs, press the yellow button. Finally, if you press the blue button to sort, you can change between sorting your recordings by the name of the program or by the date of the recording. The next function of the list button helps you manage your future recordings. When you press the List button two times, your list of future recordings appears, showing all programming events waiting to happen. By default, recordings are displayed in date-time order. As you arrow through the list and pause at a program, you see a brief description of the program, the channel it airs on, the date, time, duration, and rating of the program. The list of future recordings can also be accessed in the main menu. Press the Menu button on the remote control, under Recordings, arrow to the right to select Future, and press OK. You will notice that there are four options available at the bottom of the screen. Delete, Red button, Actions, Green button, Search, Yellow button, and Sort, Blue button. If you press the Red button to delete, you will be asked if you want to delete the scheduled recording. If you press the Green button for Actions, you are presented with a number of options. The list of actions appears on the right side of the screen, 
and shows the corresponding button to press on the remote control. To edit the item, press the OK button on the remote control. You can start recording earlier than the scheduled time, and you can also stop recording a little past the scheduled program time. This will help ensure that you get all of a program. Arrow down to save, and press OK to save your settings. To show or hide information about the recording, press the Info button. This expands or hides the view of information. To go back one screen, press the List button. To move the recording to a specific folder, arrow to select Move to Folder. To sort the list of future recordings, press the blue button on the remote control. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the sort change to being sorted by name. Press the blue button again to change the sort back to date and time. To close the actions, either press the green button or press the exit button on the remote control. Finally, if you press the yellow button, you can search for future airings of the selected program. Press the List button three times to view the list of series rules. These are the programs that you have set to record on a regular basis, and you may access them from here to make adjustments to your series recording rules. By default, the series rules display by their priority rating. As you arrow through the list and pause at a program, you see the channel it airs on, the episodes to keep, and the padding or extra time surrounding the program also being recorded. There are four options available. Delete, Red Button, Actions, Green Button, Search, Yellow Button, and Sort, Blue Button. The list of series rules can also be accessed in the main menu. Press the Menu button on the remote control. Under Recordings, arrow to the right and select Series and press OK. To delete a series rule and future recordings of that series, press the red button. Select Yes or No to delete and then press OK. To view the actions available for your series rules, press the green button. The list of actions appears on the screen and shows the corresponding button that you could press on the remote control, or arrow over and down to make your selections and then press OK on the remote. If you want to edit the item, select it and press OK. You have several editing options as you define a series rule. Choose how many episodes to keep at any given time. Your options are 1 to 10 or all episodes. Choose the show type that you wish to record. You may choose to record all instances of a program or just new episodes. Choose when to start the recording. You can begin on time when the program is scheduled to begin or you can choose to begin the program early. Choose when to stop the recording. You can stop on time when the program is scheduled to end or you can choose to end it at a later time. Choose what folder to save the recording in. If you have multiple DVRs in your whole home group, you can choose which DVR you would like the recording saved to. Finally, choose if you would like to auto-tune to the channel when the program you are recording begins. Arrow down and select Update Series Recording to save your changes. Back at the list of options, if you want to show or hide information about the recording, press the Info button. The next two action options deal with priority. The priority of programs is as they are shown in the list. The top program on the list is the highest priority, and the bottom one is the lowest priority. If you have several programs scheduled to record at once, the DVR makes the decision of which to record based on highest priority. To change priority, simply press the OK button while on Increase or Decrease Priority option to move program up or down in the priority list. Setting priority on the programs you value the most will ensure they are recorded first if the system does not have enough resources to record all of the simultaneously scheduled recordings. If you press the blue button to sort, you can change between sorting your recordings by the name of the program or by the priority of the series recording. Press the green button to exit the Actions menu. If you have a cloud DVR service, when you press the List button four times, a list of recently deleted recordings appears. By default, the most recent recording shows at the top of the list. As you arrow through the list and pause at a program, 
you see a brief description of the program, the channel it aired on, the date, time, duration, and rating of the recording. You will notice that there are three options available at the bottom of the screen. Actions, green button, search, yellow button, and sort, blue button. Press the corresponding buttons on the remote to perform the listed function. If you press the green button for actions, you are presented with a number of options. The actions list displays on the right-hand side of the screen. To make it easy for you, the list of actions on the screen shows the corresponding button that you could press on the remote control. It is also possible to highlight your selection and then press OK. To show or hide program information, press Info. If you'd like to restore the recording, choose Restore. If you want to show or hide information about the recording, press the Info button. If you press the blue button to sort, you can change between sorting your recordings by the name of the program or by the date of the recording. Press the green button to exit the Actions menu. Finally, to search for future airings of selected programs, press the yellow button. Press the List button on the remote to access the list of recorded programs. From the list of recordings, use the arrow buttons on the remote control to highlight the recording you want to watch, and press the Play button on the remote control. A playback bar displays at the bottom of the screen, showing the name of the program, the duration of the program, and how far into the program you are. At any time while viewing a recorded program, press the Play button again to bring up the status bar. Use the playback controls on your remote to pause, fast forward, rewind, skip back, and skip forward. You can also press the OK button as you are watching the recording to see what is currently on TV while you watch the recorded program. If you stop viewing a program before it has finished, when you return to watch the program again, you will be asked if you would like to start at the beginning or resume play where you left off. When you reach the end of the recording, you have the option to delete the recording or keep it to watch again. When you are watching programming from a series recording and have multiple recordings, a binge mode playback will prompt you to watch the next recording in a series. In this same window, you can delete the episode you just watched, move on to the next episode, or return to live TV. The DVR can record a limited number of programs at a time. If you attempt to record more programs than the system has resources for, the DVR will warn you of a recording conflict. In this example, pressing the OK button, the Now Playing screen indicates three programs are being recorded on channels 656 and 657, while channel 659 is being viewed. Also, there is a previously recorded program that was being watched on channel 634, indicated by the red circle with a yellow check. If you decide you also want to record channel 659, press Record to bring up the Schedule Recording screen. Once a selection of one-time recording or series recording is made, the system determines it does not have enough resources to record all three programs simultaneously, and warns of a recording conflict. You are prompted to either cancel the recording or resolve the conflict. When Resolve Conflict is chosen, a conflict resolution screen appears showing the other programs currently scheduled to record at the same time. From this screen, you can easily determine which programs you want to take recording priority. Press Stop to stop one of the previously scheduled recordings, and you will be prompted to choose how to treat the stopped program. Once you have made your selection, press Record again on channel 659 to begin recording the new program. Click Exit to resume normal viewing.